sort of pocket has moved to the back burner. Let's see how today shapes up. The first tick on the index is flat, very, very quiet, so not moving the needle too much, hovering around that 18,750 level. The mid caps are also absolutely quiet. The good part is that the advanced decline ratio is in favour of the advances, at least at the moment. Uh, big moves, uh, let's first check out what's happening with the banks because they've been the big laggards. Once again, the bank nifty is down about 80 odd points. ICICI Bank is your top loser, followed by Indusin Bank and then HDFC Bank. So this whole pocket is under pressure. Autos are starting to come off a tad bit now. The rally has been pretty smooth this year and this month. So autos, Maruti Suzuki is down. Aisha Motors is under pressure. So some profit taking is what you're seeing there. And metal names as well. Tata Steel is down about half a percent, followed by a couple of other metal names, uh, you know, leading the way on the downside. Bajaj Finserve, Divi's Labs, there are a couple of other stocks that are in the red. By the way, HDFC AMC, after that a block, is one of the big movers right now. Uh, so do keep an eye out on that. And Indigo as well is up almost about 2 odd percent. HDFC AMC now rallying about 8% in trade. Talking about gainers, Apollo Hospital is your biggest index gainer right now, followed by SVI Life, Adani Enterprises. And some of the IT stocks are making a bit of a comeback. Wipro emphasis are trending a tad bit in the green. Titan and Britannia are also holding up in the green. In fact, Apollo Hospital has been the biggest mover this month. In the month of June alone, Apollo Hospitals is up 12%. And, you know, we have very positive commentary from the management, uh, Sunita Reddy, a couple of weeks ago uh, about their uh, digital arm. So that stock is now at almost 5,200 uh, big moves coming in there. But otherwise, for the market, very, very quiet at the moment. Timkin India, there's a large deal that's taken place there and stock completely knocked down. Yeah, that's uh, something that uh, Nimesh was alerting us uh, about. In all probability, this could be, I mean, at least, uh, you know, this, this block could be perhaps the uh, uh, company's uh, owners, uh, the foreign parent, them looking to pare down stake. Of course, it's not confirmed. We have to wait for the uh, end of the day to find the identity of the buyer and seller. But the buzz was that uh, maybe uh, some of this selling is happening because foreign owners are uh, cashing out. By the way, check out IFL Securities. Uh, these very strict observations coming in from SEBI. SEBI barring the company from taking any new clients and, uh, you know, uh, suggesting that there's misuse of client funds as well. 16% down, that's a huge cash on uh, that one stock. Otherwise, the uh, mid-cap market is very quiet. And this is what, uh, you know, we were highlighting at the start, that if the large-cap indices start falling, can mid-caps really continue their party? Well, the party has tempered off, at least for now. Let's see, it's early days. Mid-cap index is uh, very, very flat for the time being. Uh, RVNL is down about 4% because of this Vande Bharat issue that we were just discussing. Uh, HAL, by the way, has gone into FNO bands. Stock is down about 2% as we speak. So these are some of the movers and shakers in focus. Titagard Rail, because of what the management just told you. In case uh, the RVNL part comes up for rebidding, Titagard is interested. 5% up on uh, that stock. Uh, Titagard Rail Systems, yeah, there we go. Up and about. Uh, those are some of the names uh, that are hitting the headlines. Bank of Baroda, positive brokerage commentary coming in from JP Morgan. Stocks up another 1% or so. Actually, even Central Bank of India, some of these PSUs are not too bad. Uh, ICICI Prudential, up about a percent and a half. Uh, Lemon Tree, Varun Beverages, Sula. These are some of the other mid-cap names. But it's very quiet out there. The mid-cap index is absolutely flat. Uh, the Nifty is the one that's struggling a little bit with a 40-point cut for the time being. And once again, I guess uh, we go back to blaming the banks because it is the Bank Nifty, which is down a quarter percent for the time being. Well, what 40 points uh, lower, 18,715 is where uh, we are at on the index uh, right now. Uh, so things are a little soft uh, as we begin today's session. Now, uh, just a few other names before we go any further. So IAFL uh, Securities, we mentioned, is down 15% now. But it's interesting to see on the other side, something like an Angel One is, uh, is, is perking up. It's up about 3 or 4% or so. Uh, that's a direct competitor, uh, which uh, <clears throat> is, uh, is uh, up and about. Now, uh, HAL is down about 1.5%, uh, coming up with very large volumes. Timken, of course, that block will happen. Uh, RVNL uh, is down 4%. Uh, Mazgao Dock is coming up with a small change. The Bajaj twins were very strong yesterday, both finance and FinSurf. Uh, finance is down about 1% at start. Uh, not just IFL security, the IFL is also down about 3.5% uh, to begin the day. Uh, again, uh, mentioning because it's got large volumes. MRPL is down about 1.7%. It was a big gainer yesterday. I mean, these are just pullbacks after, you know, basically some reversals from yesterday. CoForge is down about 1%, uh, and you've got Max Healthcare, which is down about 2% uh, or so. Container Corporation, another one, 
uh, which is coming up with some uh, cuts uh, at this point in time. Uh, the reaction on HDFC AMC is pretty uh, interesting because uh, the, the stock, of course, is uh, the entire sector actually is completely derated over the last couple of years, has not done anything at all. Uh, and now there are these TER regulations, uh, but uh, it, at least the reaction for now, if it were to hold, suggests that maybe the big overhang uh, was also this uh, Aberdeen uh, stake, uh, which now is finally out of the way. And, uh, you know, we'll have more on this uh, on that in a bit. Electra Green Tech is the, uh, is, is the number two gainer, volume-led gainer, by the way. It was a big one yesterday. It's up another 3%. And look at something like a skipper. Skipper, skipper went up, I think, 15% yesterday. It's up another 7%. So uh, in the broader market, there is a fair bit of momentum, uh, which one is starting to see. Sorry. I don't know how you read my mind, but I was going to comment on Electra, Electra. Green Tech. You know, huh. If you remember, Ravi Dharamshi in our editor's <laughs> round, okay, you weren't there this week. But, but he's, uh, he's, he's been a big... He's uh, very bullish on yeah. this entire EV space, especially the ancillary space, not the main OEMs, but Electra Green Tech is into EV buses. Mm. And this year, Prashant, not even six months are over, the stock has doubled. Mm. It's literally up 100% since January because of, you know, the kind of momentum that we're seeing in the EV space. So this is one theme that's really working out. No, absolutely. Yesterday we had Vijay Keria uh, with yeah. us who was also uh, talking about uh, EVs as a sunrise uh, sector. And of course, I mean, his big bet is uh, Atul Auto where, uh, you know, post pref issue his stake is about 20% now. So that's, uh, you know, that's what we have. Amber, by the way, is up 4%, uh, 2200 on Amber. Uh, so, so a few other names. So broader market, uh, at least the breadth is uh, pretty solid. 1,100 stocks are higher and about 800 stocks are lower. The Nifty is down 60 points. So it's drifted a little lower from the start as well. Uh, and uh, the mid cap and small cap indices are also a little sideways for now.